Let's save it. Can I save it? Yeah. Well, this raft comes fully equipped. I like it. Got all the options. And now we turn it to the northeast. And off we go. Sailing away. Hello, survivors, and welcome back to the Bermuda Triangle here in Bermuda Lost Survival. We're picking up sort of where we left off after the last episode, though I have gone down into the depths to collect a whole bunch of resources. Uh, whoa! It was on my resources. Oh, here they are. Right, I put them in the workbench because they do actually have a weight associated with them, and you can only carry a certain amount in your backpack. So I stuffed it all in here for now because we want to make some things. In particular, this dock today to make a raft to go off into the wild blue yonder. So we're here, right? And we want to go here. I'm not sure what's here in this darker hexagon, but I think we want to continue along this northeasterly direction because we have all this location under here that we can dive down and investigate. I'm pretty sure all that has been added too. There was a new update recently. Content update one. And it added all this stuff down here. So my guess is there's a lot of wrecks down there. Um, and then this is uh, our next destination, I would think. And maybe we'll build a base there. Sadly, I think we have to leave this base behind. So maybe we'll dismantle it when we go. Um, that's, that's kind of unfortunate. But that's the way the game works right now, I suppose. Oh, here's some more ropes. Let's grab that. And we'll stuff that in here as well because we're going to need a lot of rope, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, there was a new update, and we can now upgrade our knife, our spear, and our axe. Before we do that, because I want to make sure I have enough, let's make the dock. I think this is a priority. So, the dock is 20 planks, 20 sticks, 10 scrap metal. We got it all there, and whammo! Here we go. Takes but a second or two, and there we go. Awesome. Just drop that in my old backpack. Get my hammer out. Come here, hammer. And we'll put it over here on this side. And we just kind of click, right? Yeah, there it is. Uh, nice! It's a big one. And we can place it. I want to get it close. So we can just kind of jump over. Rotate it into place. And there you go. It's a beaut! It's a fully equipped dock with... Uh, what's this stuff over here? I guess it's not usable, but... <laughs> I got a rope here. That's nice. Oh, look at this! We even have these little buoys out here. Um, that's the safe area for swimming. Is it? Okay, do not leave this spot right here, children. Feel safe. Yeah, it's good. Uh, climb aboard. Now, how do we make the raft? I guess we do that over here with a hammer. It's hammer time. There it is. Oh, we just unlock it, huh? 20 planks, 20 rope, 10 sticks. It's totally seaworthy. Yeah, right. Heard that before. But is it shark proof? <laughs> we don't have to worry about that right now because the sharks do not attack you. Me. Us. There we go. That's good. Can I just walk? No! <laughs> I didn't put it close enough. I have to get that one little leap. Okay. Uh, what was it again? 20 planks. Got it. 20 rope. Check. 10 sticks. Check. Unlock that waft. Oh! I heard it. Oh, there it is! Thank you! Whoever just delivered it. And it's in the safe swimming zone. Good. See? That's what we like. That's what we like. A raft that does the right thing. Follows the rules. We got a little rudder back here. That's how we use it. Came complete with a sail. <laughs> and even a, uh, one of these crafting boxes. So this is the starting point for all your crafting. That's going to be nice for when we move. And we are going to move very soon. And I guess I can throw some stuff on here too, right? Now, will it travel with us? Uh, I hope so, because I'm going to bring all the materials with us. Oh, it has a bed, too! We can sleep down here. We can save it. And it even brought the other saves over. That's nice. Let's save it. And let me get rid of some of these old ones. This is so nice, man. Just saving it right when you need it. I love that. Thank you, developer. Whoa, 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 whoa! How did I get over here? Back it up! Back it up! Does it have reverse? It has <laughs> reverse! <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Well, 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 it's a sailboat, so it has this, this physics, see? It's got inertia. And maybe that's just the wind. Huh? All right. Let's go and grab every... Well, you know what? Let's not first. Let's see if we can upgrade our kniffy. Should we upgrade the kniffy? I don't know if it makes more sense to do the knife or the axe first. 
The knife gets sticks and vines or kelp or whatever. And we need that. Uh, seaweed. Seaweed. And we need that to make ropes. And we always need a lot of ropes. Don't we? So I can't even do this right now because... Oh, wait. I have um, I have some more uh, seaweed in here. Should have that running. That's going to give us three... No, we're going to be one shy. Aren't we? Yeah, we're going to be one shy. All right. So we can't upgrade this darn thing. So let's uh, let me get reorganized here, and then we're gonna go down and grab some things. Yeah, let's grab the planks, the metal, and the sticks, and let's upgrade this knife. Ready? Bam! Done. Let's check it out. Does it look different? I don't know. It's gonna be faster and more efficient now. It's going to harvest more material when we stab it. That's pretty sweet. And how about... Um, and now our axe. Can we upgrade this thing? 15 scrap metal. 20 sticks. And 10 rope. No, we need... We're going to need more rope. And a lot more sticks. And we can get both of those things with the Kniffy. So that's going to be awesome. So let's go down and get that stuff now. Oh, man. Don't like that. Of course, we can't just cut ropes from the ocean. We have to get the um, seaweed and convert it on our little drying rack there, which is perfectly fine. We can we can manage. Let's eat a Bruce. Have some breakfast. Some of this fresh water that I made up. And how much water do we have left? We got plenty, I think, for our trip. We can always make more when we get to the next location. So, okay, here's what we're gonna do. Let's go take our new knife down to that wreck that I saw over there, right? And we'll go check it out, gather up some materials that we're going to need, mostly the sticks and the kelp. Woohoo! Seaweed! <laughs> kelp. <laughs> you can't harvest kelp unless you're a, a whale. Silly man. All right, there it is down there. And let's stab a Bruce or two. Hey, Bruce! Gotcha. Bleeding out. Look at those shark shadows. They're pretty cool. All right, grab Bruce. Get him off the spear. Uh, we don't need another one right now. Let's go whack some stuff. Oh, I should have tested it on this. Oh, what was that? Is that blood from my bruise? Could have been. Here, let's stab this thing. Oh, we're getting we're getting one extra. Oh, we ran out, but let's try another one that has more on it. So yeah, we're getting three at a time instead of <laughs> two. <laughs> yeah, here we go. That's a big weed. Okay, well that's good. We need this anyway, so we might as well grab some. Okay, just a quick stop here on the floating base to get our drying rack going so we can get more ropes. That's going to make 12 ropes. That'll be plenty to upgrade the axe, but that's going to take some time. So while that's drying, let's get back down and try the knife. Oh, barrel. I'm going to grab that. Um, try the knife over here on this shipwreck. See how many more sticks we can get. Used to be, I think, two sticks on a boat. Gotcha, Bruce! Oh, there goes another Bruce. So let's see how many sticks we can get. It used to be two. My guess is it's one more than before. Three. Right. Now we needed, what, 15 sticks? Let's just keep going. Let's get as many sticks as we can, and I'll, I'll get a few planks from this as well. All right, guys, I've got all the material we need to upgrade our axe, so let's go ahead and do that. 15 scrap metal, 20 sticks, 10 rope, and huzzah! Okay, let's see. Is it beautiful? Oh, it's beautiful. It sure is. It's So this one's metal, apparently. So these two are made of metal instead of stone. That's the upgrade. So fantastic! That's going to come in handy when we go start to dismantle and tear down um, shipwrecks. But speaking of dismantle, I think it's time to dismantle this this place, this uh, this base, and then move on. And I'm pretty sure we can dismantle everything. Dis deconstruct, as they like to call it. So what do we do? We whack it? Yeah, I'm sure. Left click. Bam! Now, do we get anything for it? I don't know. Well, I don't know what I, ha what I had. <laughs> Five sticks, two metal, and three rope. Let's see if we get something here. Five sticks, two metal, three rope. Oh yeah, we're getting stuff back, all right. We even got some planks out of that one. All right, well, this makes sense. You can't bring it with you, so we might as well break it down and recover some of this material. Deconstruct. 
hammer time. And we'll take the pieces down here as well. Yeah, yeah. And this will give us um, some starting material when we get to the new home. Our new new location, wherever that happens to be. Whammo. And this is it. Down to the dock. Yeah. No, I'm on the... <laughs> Tell me. I hit the wrong one. Whatever. Okay. That's fine, because look at all the stuff we have now. And can I even move? Barely. Alright, let's get this. Let's split it up. Actually, let's put it all on the raft. Hopefully it doesn't fall off somehow. You just never know, right? 241 pounds. 268 out of 350. That's great. And now I think we're ready to rock and roll. So we can make a couple of platforms when we get to where we're going. And then start rebuilding our base. Put that hammer down. I don't want to deconstruct my raft. Then I'd really be in a pickle, as they say. Okay, bring up the map. And that is the direction we must go. So I'm going to turn this silly thing around. Let's save it. Can I save it? Yeah. Oh, this raft comes fully equipped. I like it. Got all the options. And now we turn it to the northeast. And off we go. Sailing away. This is pretty sweet. I wish there was another camera angle or maybe a, a means of getting rid of that sail in my face. I can't see anything, but I guess that's more realistic-like. Okay, we want to get to the kind of the border of these two um, hexes that are touching. They're adjacent. We'll get right in the middle and maybe dive down. And let's follow. Let's follow the black spots. The black spots indicate potential treasure troves of resources. Yeah, we're kind of in the middle here. So it looks like there's a big boat or something down here. Holy smokes, there is! Oh, look at my shadow of my raft. That's cool. Is that a shadow too? No, how can that be? This is an actual... It's a shadow of something. There's a wheel down here. Steering wheel. Wham! Nothing. Can't get anything out of it. Right, grab that. A lot of sharkies here, but don't worry, they're all friends. Oh, look at this raft! Oh, there must have been another castaway here. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks was here, which means Wilson was here. Okay, now we're getting two planks instead of one. Thank goodness, because getting one plank at a time was ridiculous. So fortunately, we can't upgrade that. These guys give you some metal as well as wood. Fabulous. Look at this, guys. All right, two scrap metal and some planks. We're going to need all this to build our new home. I don't want to spend too much time here. This daylight's going to be uh, going soon. But I want to grab... St oh, what? You're a fakie. They faked me out. All right, well, that's just a decoy. It's a trap. It's going to be way better when this game finally has some some sharks that come at you. you need a little tension down here, you know what I'm saying? Here's a big old busted up... Whoa! Whoa! Holy smokes, I'm not looking at my oxygen. I forgot that I'm actually underwater down here. <laughs> okay, that's a couple of minutes down there. Now, apparently, there's uh, someone, some dude, held his breath for 24 minutes. That's a world record. 24 minutes? You gotta be part frog. That's crazy. All right, let's dump that in there. Can it hold it all? I don't think there's anything special in these wrecks. I mean, there's no, like, treasure or gear or anything like you find, say, um, Stranded Deep. It's all just resources. So the resources here are going to be the same as the resources at our eventual location, where we call our new home. At least our temporary home, which is going to be right in the center of this hex and the center of that weird-looking formation. So let's get over there. I think we're crossing the boundary right now. It does actually show in the radar, the little mini-map. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff down there, but it doesn't make any sense to get down there to look for anything special. The game is too early in its infancy to have any of that, um, I don't know, those goodies like Stranded Deep has. And I'm not even sure if this game's ever going to have those things. My guess is it will, to give us more reason to go down and dive other than just wood and sticks. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that day. All right, here it is. We still got a little daylight left. Maybe we can get our platforms put down. 
get our base foundation structure thingamabob and yeah we're pretty much in the center here pretty close to it okay let's do it we need two wooden platforms i want to start with two because i want to make sure i have enough wood for some of the other stuff without having to go down for it but eventually i'll make a larger platform like maybe three like we had before we don't want to overdo it because if we keep moving around you have to leave these bases behind and that's just a sad fact of life here in the bermuda triangle let's start with the two let's start with the two and where do we want it we want it to get a lot of sunshine how about right here that's fine place it down let's put it right here we're gonna have to make a new dock obviously oh snap no rotate that yeah there we go want to face in the same direction um actually i don't know if we don't really need a dock uh we're gonna need a workbench right because that makes all the cool stuff so let's make sure we get at least a workbench going just want to make sure i'm getting this right i don't want to screw it up have to go diving for anything get my hammer out and let's put the workbench uh I'll put that right in the center wham all right and now with the workbench we can actually make all the other goodies we's going to need water distillery barbecue bucket try to park this just right parallel parallel parking kind of we okay i want to make a light how do you make a light i want to make this right here one scrap metal five sticks and a rope all right we, we can do it we gotta light this place up make it homey uh-oh no, we can't i only have one stick oh no are you kidding me I can't make a light. I need a few more sticks. I'm going to go diving. I'm going to go diving right now at night. I want that light. You need light to make a place feel like home. You know what I'm saying? And fire. So I'm going in. I'm going to grab a few sticks. I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Okay. Got the sticks. I had to actually go farther than I had anticipated. It's pretty deep down there. And I couldn't... Well, I couldn't see. That was the first issue. <laughs> I couldn't see the wrecks. But I finally found one that gave me some wood, because it was super exciting. And now we can make a light. Let's just make one light, or standing torch, rather. We don't have any electricity out here, at least not yet. It'd be pretty awesome someday if we could make electricity. It might be a little bit far-fetched. But let's, uh, yeah, let's put this guy down somewhere in a corner, maybe? Oh, look at that. It even shows how much light it gives off so we can see what, how much it's going to provide, how much light it's going to provide for us. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. Where do we want it? I don't want it in the center. I'll be tripping all over it. We'll, we'll probably make more of these and maybe put them in the corners. How about on the... We'll put them in the corner. Wham! One there. Let's make another. Let's make two. I think we should make another one. Oh, don't stab it! And while we're here, let's make our barbecue bucket. And we'll put this torch over in this corner. No need to rotate. Now we have light. Awesome! Feels like home now, what I tell you. Now it's cozy. Cozy like a real hearth. And can I squeeze... Oh boy, I can't get my barbecue <laughs> in here anywhere. Can I squeeze it in there? Yes! Just barely. That's fine. That's where it's going. In the kitchen. In the kitchen! Sweet. Okay. I think we are done here for now. I don't have any fish to cook up. I didn't catch any bruises, but we're going to have to get some water. Let's get some water going. Uh, just jump in. I'm going to get some salt water. and st Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, wow. Yeah, the bottle fills a lot faster. Yeah, the changelog notes actually say that harvesting has been increased by 15% the harvesting speed so that's nice all right that's enough that's enough get out up there and we'll get this cooking up for next time all that salt water and we're gonna need some planks for that I need lots and lots of water while we're here so I'm gonna put 12 planks that should be plenty for some fresh water lots and lots of fresh water and with that, my friends, I think we are going to call it quits. 
So we got our new home here. It's uh, not much, but it's ours, and we will be working on it over time. Oh, and apparently I can make a bedroll now. Uh, that must be on the other device, so let's see how we do that, because that's going to be important. I think... Ugh. Ugh. I always miss. i got to get that thing a little closer. Did we see the bedroll over here? Oh, bed. Not a bed roll, but an entire bed. Oh, that's going to be nice. Looks comfortable and cozy, too. All right, we'll do that next time. Once again, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.